Hello everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back here again with another WWE pay-per-view reaction. You get me guys, you get me. And this time it is WrestleMania backlash after a wonderful event. An event where everyone wanted to get their backlash from the previous WrestleMania. People like Seth Rowden was interested in getting their backlash, their vengeance, you know. People like Umos as well, AJ Styles were all vengeful. Rowdy Ronda Rousey was all vengeful. And of course, you've got the bloodline, Drew McIntyre. And you've got Mad Cat Moss who was looking for a bit of revenge, a bit of backlash, you know, from what he's been receiving by Happy Corbin. But guys, it has been an eventful one. As always, before we get into it, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and also remember to share because sharing Ivorian Spice is caring. And if you want to contribute to this channel, you can always contribute via the link description, via PayPal, or send a thanks, or join in a live event for the Match United contents, you know, the watch alongs and the podcast if you ever want to contribute. But let's get straight into it because I don't want to waffle. You know, I don't want to waste your time. I want to get into it because I'm excited, guys. I'm excited. We started off with the first match of the night, which was Seth freaking Rowling versus Cody Rose, the American Nightmare. And, of course, you, you know that Seth Rollins has been hating on Cody Rose ever since he returned. You know, he wasn't prepared for him, as he says. But today, he was prepared for Cody Rose. Cody Rose coming up doing his usual i expect him to come through being elevated up with the smoke but he came out you know from the entrance with the smoke showing him you know i i really enjoyed that kind of entrance you know the cody rose entrance i wish they bring that back the same entrance that they gave him at wrestlemania that he's been doing on aew as well i wanted him to, to, to come out just like that ready for the fight in terms of the fight itself the match itself was a very good start you know cody rose seth rollins going at it you know, um, Seth Rollins hitting him with a pedigree at uh, one time. Tried to, didn't really stomp him, which is which was which was a bit surprising. You know, Seth Rollins for some reason I can't really call it what his finisher is. Seth Rollins' finish is, is is just one of many. You know, but with Cody Rose fighting so well against Seth Rollins, keeping his head up, keeping at it with him, it was a good match. Cody Rose win with the pinfall, holding Seth Rollins tight. And can you imagine Seth tried to do that to Cody Rose, but failed, failed miserably. Cody Rose taking one knot up on him, taking that advantage, holding his tight to get that one, two, three for Cody Rose to get that win. Seth Rose fuming. He was turned to this ref like, how, how? Ref was like, me, one, two, three. Simple as, you lost. Seth freaking Rowling is angry. We, wanna, we definitely want to see how he feels at Monday Night Raw. Second match was Omos versus Bobby Lashley. The almighty Bobby Lashley versus Omos, that gigantic guy. And their feud came from MVP, all of a sudden turning on Bobby Lashley throughout the past couple of weeks. And with MVP being besides Omos, it was always going to be a difficult match for Bobby Lashley because why? He had to concentrate on the ops outside the ring. Bobby Lashley did it well against Omos, pounding him. And almost as well, wrestling really well, doing well. But unfortunately, almost came with that win because of why MVP hit Bobby Lashley with his stinking, I don't know what you, what you call it, um, walking stick. It hit him in the face due to that distraction and Bobby Lashley getting lashed in the face for that, you know, Bobby Lashley getting that lash in the face. Almost took advantage of it. Pin Bobby Lashley one, two, three to win that match. Almost was lucky. If he never had MVP at, by his side, he wouldn't have won. Bobby Lashley would have beaten him just like he did in WrestleMania. The next match, the Ministry of Darkness. Edge has turned into his heel character. And you know, Edge, once he goes heel, he goes really heel. And he does heel characters really well, you know? You think you know him, but you don't know him. You never knew him. Edge facing AJ Styles, a match that I was looking forward to because I really wanted AJ Styles to get one up on Edge to get that W. You know, the match itself went well. Of course, Damian Priest coming out, standing by the byline, saying that, hey, hey, I know I'm bored, 
But yeah, I'm nowhere near the ring. So I'm just behind where the entrance is, that entrance map. I'm going to chill there. Out came, of course, the guy himself. I, I, I kind of forgot his name. Oh, my God. Jesus. Oh, my God. What the hell was his name? Uh, don't matter. He came out. He came out to attack Damien Priest. How can I forget his name? How can I forget his name? But, yeah, with Damien Priest getting battered outside, all of a sudden, things change. AJ Styles thought he can win this match. But unfortunately, as he got, went up to the top rope, somebody out of nowhere came out dressed in black hoodie up, covering themselves, bang onto the ropes for AJ Styles to just drop from the ropes and edge himself, taking that opportunity to choke out AJ Styles. AJ, saw, AJ Styles saw night night, night night AJ, and edge winning by a choke out. Couldn't really blame him, you know, couldn't blame AJ. He The numbers was against him, you know. The numbers really was against him. And who was that mysterious person? It was Rhea Ripley. Rhea Ripley has been going through it, you know. She's gone from um, from, from face to now heel. And I always thought Rhea Ripley is a heel character, you know. All these nice things, all this being like playing nice things, being people's tag team partner after being WWE champ, women's champion. Ain't going to last for that long. There will be a day when she turns. So it looks like she has joined Edge in that Ministry of Darkness with, with Damien Priest. Edge winning, it, it, it led into the next game, the next fight. You know you've been waiting for it. Rowdy Ronda Rousey versus Charlotte Flair for the WWE SmackDown Women's Champion for an I Quit match. And you know these Women, these ladies out there, they ain't going to quit for nothing. Ronda Rousey will not quit for nothing. And Charlotte Flair wouldn't quit for nothing. But at the end of the day, somebody had to quit. What a tremendous fight. It went on for a long time. Went around the whole stadium. The whole stadium outside. Kendall sticks, chairs. Bah, 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 bah. I loved every single minute of it, guys. Ah, Ronda, Ronda Rousey. You know, hats up to her, you know. When it came to it, when that chair came out and 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 Charlotte Flair thought she had Ronda Rousey when she just DDT Ronda Rousey with 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 her face to the steel chair, you know, on the mattress on the floor in the middle of the ring. Ronda Rousey able to recuperate out of nowhere, grabbing Charlotte Flair, putting hands through the legs of the chair, and then giving her the arm bar. You know, the ref asking him, "Do you quit, Charlotte Flair?" Charlotte Flair at the end of the day said. No, I don't quit. But Ronda Rowdy said, bitch, I knew you wasn't going to say you don't quit. Here's this. She aggravated, turned that arm boy into the next level. Just pure aggression for Charlotte Flair to say, I quit, I quit, I quit. Ended with Ronda Rowdy, Rowdy, Ronda, Ronda Rowdy Rousey winning the women's WWE SmackDown Champions for the first time. And we was all in tears. We was all cheering, going, oh, my God, Ronda Rousey has finally did it. Now she has two, she's had two titles in WWE, which is WWE Raw, Raw Women's Smack, Raw Women's Champion and the SmackDown Championship. So good for her. I'm happy for her, you know. I'm happy to see in an MM, MMA fighter transition to the WWE, you know. And she deserves it as well because um, she wasn't really liked when she first showed up in the WWE. Had a couple of issues. Even the fans wasn't really feeling her mic skills. So now she's champion. She needs to just step up her mic skills and become better. Because her mic skills are quite lame as on at times. Hope you don't hear this, Ronda Rousey, because I don't want to be called out by you. I'm definitely going to decline and tell the man, listen, yeah? None of you guys who are brave enough to fight Ronda Rousey. Yeah? Man's going to be a pom pom for the rest of my life, I will take this L, you know, because I don't want to be that guy that got punched up by Ronda Rousey, you know, be on the front line, you know, black man get punched up by Ronda Rousey, you know, let me, I don't want to be that, I don't want to be that guy, but come the main event, not, not the main event, Madcap versus Happy Corbin, Madcap versus Happy Corbin, it wasn't really something I was looking forward to, you know. I, I, I was like, I hope this match takes about 20 minutes and then get it out because I really want to see the main event. Madcap did win, of course, with a sunset flip onto Bar Happy Corbin. I used to say Byron Corbin, but he's a Happy Corbin now. And he ended up losing to one of his, what do you call it? 
um, protege, you know, his former protege. Mag Tap Cap getting that W. Happy Corbin, not happy at this moment. It's probably a sad Corbin at this moment. But here comes the main event, the one we've been waiting for, you know. Drew McIntyre and RK Bro versus the Bloodlines. We the ones, baby! Throw the ones in the air. Throw the ones in the air, you know. You get me? And it was a great fight. Great main event. Drew McIntyre, RK Bros. There was a moment there when, of course, you had, um, God knows, um, the, the Usos pounding and grinding oh, on that hippie kid, I, I have to say. And somehow I just, randomly just forgot his name, you know. Um, Randy Orton and Orton and who Ew, his name is the hippie kid. Bad nose and riddle, 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 riddle. Fought well, but there were moments there when they were getting it. They were getting their ass whooped, pounded, poop, poop, poop from the bloodline, you know. And they gave it back to them. Roman Reigns picked his time wisely to to step into the rings. When it came to Riddle, he punched him up. But when it came to Drew McIntyre, he backed up and said, "Whoa." You man them, you know I got soldiers and pawns for, for a reason. So you guys can come in, get your ass whooped, waste your energy with me, with my high energy, come in there and win the fight. And that's what happened at the end of the day. You know, the Usos did what they had to do, waste all their energy. And when it came to it, you know, Roman Reigns smartly, out of nowhere, where Jay Uso was just, got an RKO from, from, Rip, um, from Moscow Riddle. And then, I don't know, during that RKO, I think it was a suplex RKO, you know, superplex RKO. Roman Reigns tagged um, the one of the Usos blindly. And then, of course, coming in, they're giving, giving, what I would say, riddled a spear, a dessert spear, you know. With a one, two, three, and a bloodline at the end of the day, winning it. It was beautiful, because I'm, I'm a big Roman Reigns fan, you know. And all I can do is just put my hands up in the air. And it stays there. And it stays there. up, down, up, down. Those ones have been up in the air for a long time. But to, for me to see the bloodline win to show how dominant they are as a fraction. With Paul Heyman there, I can't wait. I really wanted to see a tag team on this to fight. You know, but it didn't happen. I hope it happens for the next pay-per-view. Hell in a Cell. Or Money in the Bank. Whichever one that comes. I want to see this. I want to see the undisputed tag team champion, you know. I hope it is the Usos. I want the bloodline to be forever strong. It was a hell of an event, and I enjoyed that, guys. Guys, this has been the end of your WWE pay-per-view reaction of WrestleMania Backlash. Please let me know what your thoughts are on the matches that went through. Was you happy to see the bloodline win? Was you sad to see AJ Styles lose? Was you shocked that it was real Ripley that was under the mask, wearing dark. I kind of figured it was a woman, had a woman's posture. So I wasn't really too surprised. And regarding Seth Rowling, was you upset? Was you sad that Seth threatened Rollins lost to Cody Rhodes? That's all. Just let me know all in the comments as always. But till next time, guys, it is your boy, Ivorian Spice. And I'll give you the next one. Next time. But as always, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, remember to share, let me know your thoughts, and of course, press the notification bell for future uploads. If you're a Manchester United fan, so remember to subscribe. If you're a soccer fan, remember to subscribe. You know, if you're a football fan, remember to subscribe. If you're a wrestling fan, subscribe. But it is what it is. Your boy, Ivor and Spice, is out. Till next time. Peace!